Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Bee Tree Honey STL. It's the first week in August, and the most important job is to test for Varroa mites. And we'll use the sugar roll test. Um, I don't like using alcohol because there is a risk of killing the queen if you don't see her. And um, I think I can get a really good read um, using, using sugar. In areas of the country where winter starts around Thanksgiving, it's really important to do your mite counts early and then to treat accordingly. This assures you that when the queen is laying her winter brood that the mite load is the lowest and so the bees have a chance of making it through the winter. There are times where people have asked me why didn't my bees make it, I've treated I counted, I treated, you know, I asked them when they treated, and they treated the end of September. And it's just not enough time. The, bee, the queen is already laying her winter brood. And you have to understand that bees normally live six weeks. But bees, in, bees that are laid in the fall make it all the way to spring. And so I don't really know, no one knows why that is. But bees will last four months and they'll last six weeks, depending on the season that's their life cycle and so for the bees that are going to live from uh, October, September, October, November, December, January, February they have to be the hive has to be varroa free or very low in mites. My threshold is about one percent and I'll be collecting 300 bees today in each hive to do the test. Here's my kit. Um, this is my kit for doing um, a sugar test. Um, I have a peanut butter jar, which I cleaned out, removed the insert, and put in a screen that the bees can't go through. I'm not exactly sure. It's 5 eighths inch, but it's not regular screen. Regular screen is too big. This is a little smaller. In order to do a sugar roll test, we need water, plates, white, powdered sugar, and a collecting jar. And I made this about 15 years ago and it still works. I mark off a half a cup. I do it with beans. Like I think I used, not lima beans, but I could have used lima beans. I used beans to mark it off instead of water. And um, and the idea is to collect 300 bees uh, from different parts of, so not all from one frame. And you want to get it from the brood frame. But um, there was a research study that was done last year, the year before, which said that in a sick hive filled with varroa, that bees socially distance. So I'm going to take some bees from brood and also some bees from outer frames. And that will hopefully give me um, a more correct mite load. So, I mean, if bees can socially distance, people can too. The trick to doing this is when you use your specimen jar, so here's a nice frame full of bees. You want to go down. So I'm going to go down and they fall in three swipes and I'm done and I put the top on and I put in three teaspoons of um, we should be doing this in the shade okay three teaspoons of powder and then and we give them a shake but we're going to set our timer to five minutes. If you just do this, you have to allow some time for the bees to dislodge the mites. The bees right now are cleaning themselves off because I've just sprayed the <laughs> poured powdered sugar on them. And uh, I'm going to give them a little bit of a headache by just up and down and sideways. And then I'll let the thing sit and the bees can, in grooming themselves, they may be able to groom some mites off. 
In the past, I've forgotten this step of waiting five minutes, and I think my readings were a little low. So we'll let this sit in a shady spot. Okay, we, um, we collected a sample from three different frames, two of them brood frames, one of them honey frames. There's 300 bees. I'm like getting heat stroke. There's 300 bees in this container. Uh, I put three teaspoons of honey in and honey, of powdered sugar in, and I let it, I shook it and I let it sit for five minutes. What we'll now do is shake out. And any mites should drop off, and we should see them as black dots. That's our mite. So this hive is good. And I have to say, it'll make it through the winter. The other thing we do, in case you don't, you can't see really well, is you pour water. This maybe, Amy, you can see with the camera better. Got it. That's all right. So now the question is, what do you do with all these bees? Well, you put them back in the hive. Just gonna 